Why do some people so enjoy talking with others about their problems, about their ideas? I used to think, oh, if not simply a complainer, then they're just trying to get lots of validation. Well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. Anthony Hopkins once, by the way, in the movie Shadowlands, said his perspective, at least in the movie, was we read to know that we are not alone. I suppose concerning certain topic matters that aren't very um, easy to be discussed in a certain population, a certain country, and at a certain time. But my views sometimes are of the sort that maybe we seek to talk with people as opposed to just read for more than just this seeking of validation that Anthony Hopkins says, at least in the movie Shadowlands, was coming from reading, not people. Maybe we don't like reading much. Maybe we can't sit still much. And maybe my latest thinking is that talking with people seemingly about our problems ad nauseum, our viewpoints, is not just a seeking of validation, but a way to get clarification. I love what a couple people talked of, for instance, that I've viewed in the last couple of years. One, a graduate uh, professor at the University of Chicago in a writing program talking of how writing is um, very, very beneficial to clarify our thoughts. Brian Tracy, too, a um, great salesman and a leadership uh, aficionado in some circles, has a video out, The Seven Seas of Success, and the first one was clarity as its topic point. Increasing clarity, many find it through writing. He certainly had, in one realm anyway. Garrison Keeler, too, of the Prairie Home Companion, had talked in one video during a Christmas special several years ago, no, I take that back maybe 10 years ago, that he found his writing efforts to be hugely important to clarity enhancement. For those then, though, that don't want to write, uh, maybe they find it all too sterile, or they write too slowly, or they don't sit still too well. Maybe they enjoy what I now view as talking type clarification or talking journaling. Yes, I never have heard it said, but can talking, some say, too much or too one-sided or seemingly just about oneself, can that be misinterpreted as actually being a form of verbal journaling to clarify one's thinking? Isn't that then why we always hear, if you want to make a friend or understand people better, just listen? Well, I used to think always, well, the problem is we don't listen because we just want validation of our own thoughts, uh, whether their virtues were not getting validated or denials were not getting validated, misconceptions were not getting validated, what have you. But isn't it possible some people simply enjoy verbal journaling rather than written journaling if they're seeking clarity and more clarity and more clarity. Maybe they simply can't tolerate not pursuing clarity and again, don't pursue books much and don't like journaling for whatever reasons. Journaling, of course, being a rather slow, laborious project or process Talking, very easy for some, depending on the person. Some, not given much to enjoying or tolerating the company or feeling comfortable in the company of many others, journal on paper exclusively. Others may wish then to journal using uh, talk, in person. Now, friendship, talk, discussion can be much more than that. Uh, for that purpose, but how fascinating, I think, this thought popping into my head not long back. Don't give ourselves such a hard time if we talk too much. Isn't thus 
this one reason in particular why so many wish to talk and don't listen too much. They're either in the process all too often of excruciating pain and venting it, blaming someone else because they can't get to the bottom of things, uh, seeking validation in general, or maybe verbally journaling. So I suppose we ought to ponder this before we simply say someone is just into themselves too much because they're always talking about themselves, their ideas, and whatnot. That in no way, shape, or form means they're talking to aggrandize themselves or put others down. They may not really realize what's going on. And in this day and age, how can you blame anyone for trying to figure anything out when we are in such a tech-oriented society and so harried, so busy, striving to keep our heads above water. Thoughts here, anyway.